Hi, this is Heidi of Bible Church of Weta Park, 2x2 Art Studio, and It Is Written Memorizing Buddies group. It Is Written is a group dedicated to worshiping Christ through the internalization of His precious words so that we may know Him and grow in Him. Today I'm going to be doing Matthew chapter 6 from the Sermon on the Mount suite, where Christ shocks His hearers when He declares that the kind of righteousness that the Heavenly Father rewards is that which is done for the right motivation, for His glory not our own, and that the kind of treasure that we are to prioritize is that of an eternal nature, to seek His kingdom first, knowing that our Heavenly Father cares for all of our temporal needs as well. I'm going to be doing the 95 NASB version. Hear now the Word of God. Beware of practicing your righteousness before men to be noticed by them, otherwise you have no reward with your Father who is in heaven. When therefore you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets, that they may be honored by men. For truly I say to you, they have their reward in full. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. And when you pray, do not be as the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on the street corners in order to be seen by men. For truly I say to you, they have their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your inner room, and when you have shut the door, pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. And when you are praying, do not use meaningless repetition as the Gentiles do. For they suppose that they will be heard for their many words. Therefore do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. Pray then in this way, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And do not lead us to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. For if you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, then your Father will not forgive your transgressions. And whenever you fast, do not put on a gloomy face as the, as the hypocrites do, for they neglect their appearance in order to be seen fasting by men. For truly I say to you, they have their reward in full. But when you, when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you may not be seen by your father, that you not be seen fasting by men, but by your father who is in secret, and your father who sees in secret will repay you. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is there, your heart will be also. The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is clear, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one or love the other, or he will hold to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. For this reason I say to you, do not be anxious for your life as to what you shall eat or what you shall wear, nor for your body as to what you shall put on. Is not life more than food and the body than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, that they do not sow, neither do they reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not worth much more than they? Or who of you, by being anxious, can add a single cubit to his lifespan? And why are you anxious about clothing? Observe how the lilies of the field grow, that they do not toil nor spin. Yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory did not clothe himself like one of these. If God, 
a raise the grass of the field which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the furnace how much more will he do so for you O men of little faith therefore do not be anxious saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what with what shall we clothe ourselves for all these things the Gentiles eagerly seek and your Heavenly Father knows that you need them but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and then all these things shall be added to you therefore do not be anxious then saying um, then for tomorrow for tomorrow will care for itself each day has enough trouble of its own 